Now for the money shot, actually converting the boys in our charge. It's just like training a dog, negative and positive reinforcement. First, we show them you can have physical contact with a man without ruining it with hot marathon sex. Come here. <laughs> Next, we learn where the confusion began by having them recount their first gay experience to learn what their triggers are. Travis? Okay, I was 14, and this guy in my class needed help with his homework. So we're at my place reading through our textbook. Slow down, slow down. Uh, what were you wearing? Just shorts and a t-shirt. Okay, and the shorts, uh, were they tight? H had you been sweating that day? I don't think so. Anyway, so we're reading through our books, and I feel his hand on my back. Okay, and slow down. You're gonna have to go a lot slower. Uh, Put your hand on Donnie's back so we can see what you mean. Uh-huh. Okay, good. Now, now, now stroke his hair a little. But that's not what happened. DO IT! Now for some good old-fashioned aversion therapy. Every time I show Travis here one of the millions of gay porn images on my hard drive, I'll administer a physical punishment as well, thereby breaking the vicious cycle of gaititude. The safety word is raspberry. And finally, we use what's called the flooding technique. Basically, did your dad ever catch you smoking a cigarette so he made you smoke pack after pack till you were throwing up and never wanted to look at another cigarette again? <laughs> well, we apply the same principle in a cellar out back. Receiving the flooding therapy is free with the program, but being an instructor in the cellar will cost you $200 an hour. So there you have it. Step-by-step -step instructions on turning even the swishiest of queers into the tower of masculinity you see before you. Now for the real shocker. I'm not just the founder of our program, I'm also its biggest success story. Before our cure, I was falling prey to homosexual recruitment on an almost daily basis, sometimes as many as five times on a good Saturday. But now, just like Donnie here, I found happiness with a real woman. Thanks, Thaddeus. I knew that the only reason that I was 29 and alone was that all the good guys had been seduced away by the queers. But now I found myself a good man who loves me for who... Sorry! <laughs> <laughs>